nine man RSL obviously ended up capitulating to DC United a five nothing final. First build up here is for FC Dallas at Barrios with a nice setup and it slipped. In MLS regular season matches, he's had one in CONCACAF Champions League, one in the Open Cup in the past, and they're already attacking again. And Everton Lorenzo has made his way back into the team for Ecuador after about two years where he wasn't called in. Anticipate fully on that day. Nice ball from Hollingshead. Played Arangis into space. Now it's Pomical. Pomical having a go in the box. Arangis and. Uh, he he hit the uh, ball in the right place. He just didn't quite have enough oomph on it, did he? We like last week when he got his first start, he got all the butterflies and nervousness out during the warm-ups, and he said he was a little bit, but he said he got all that out before the uh, game actually started. Driving towards the top of the area. One touch defensively by RSL, RSL that is, and a second touch, they're able to clear the area. But then Savar... <laughs> you would do something red card worthy right in front of the no choice to make. Real... Well, Mark, we've talked about this before, that uh, through the course of a uh, 34-game season, there are opportunities for the other team. You have Corey Baird on the bench. He's really more of a winger, but he has played striker for them and, and done a pretty good job of it, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him come in at some point. Coming right off of his layout at time. Yeah, somehow it looked like it rolled between UTX, FC Dallas soccer, all across the great state of Texas. Well, the sport of basketball is being celebrated tonight after Texas particular game. Are we taking uh, friendly Mescal bets on if he will still be the youngest player? Oh, I don't know about that, but it's great. Still continues, though, for 11-man FC Dallas against 10-man Real Salt Lake. Pomical. Pomical coming in this minute. Here's Paxton Pomical with some space. That was on a, a very controversial penalty kick. Opportunity now off the throw for FC Dallas. Jesus Ferreira rolls it into the feet of Paxton Pomical. Pomical. Grazo in that moment. Here we go. And FC Dallas again. Chance. Oh, and right back. Paxton Pomical. Seconds after the equalizer. Pomical in the box has scored for FC Dallas. Pretty good one. And it's just a bad touch by Marcelo Silva. Silva. I'm not quite sure what he's trying to accomplish there. I mean, you, you can't just block a ball. I mean, you've got to clear that ball away. To intercept in a dangerous area. Lennon tries to send it off to the right-hand side to Savarino. Broken up by Ryan Hollingshead. And now the goal scorer a moment ago, Paxton Pomacle. Paxton Pomacle. Michael Barrios. Barrios has his first assist of the season tonight. His last year, but... Kyle Beckerman hasn't said so. Good first touch and turn by Paxton Pomical. Second long range injury pass from making choices, whatever. But there's also this element of, of one, two, and design. Feet of Salcedo. Turn back to Savarino. Right hand side, remember that FC Dallas struck very quickly to start the first. I think that's a pretty fair assessment. Pomical rolls the corner to Barrios. Now it's driven at the back post by Pomical. Headed back in front. Recycle a second ball in. Arangis to Pomical. Bit of a heavy first touch for Pomical. Get away to Real Salt Lake. Carry the goalkeeper's camp. Ryan Hollingshead had a goal last week. Pomical quickly moves it along. Barrios is in. Here is Hedges in the direction of Cannon. Yellow, red, or what's a foul, what's not a foul. I think your point's a fair one earlier tonight. Yep. Looks like Jacori. Game winner last week, and he's in the attack right now. Pomical, Pomical turns, faces, goal, and drives in his second of the night. Paxton Pomical with a blast from outside the area. He's got a lot of work to do here. Really off a bad touch. Uh, what well, ends up being a bad touch from... Does this take a deflection? Oh, it does. Uh, Still a nice job to work through some. He's having a go. Oh, he turns Aaron Herrera. He makes the pass across the top of the area to Pomacool. Now to Ferreira. Pomacool! Always doing extra little things to try to better himself as a professional. 
Remember, this is a guy who just graduated high school. Marino tracking back, stepped in front of Carlos Guerrezo, but whiffed on an attempt. Now it's carried into the area by Pomichol. Oh, it's a nice little layoff for Ja'Cory Hayes. National Sam Johnson, who joins RSL after most recently playing professionally in Norway. Uh, producer and director of Instagram videos, Carter Baum. And there's the Cobra chasing between the two cup winners are not off to the 2019 start that they envisioned. You mentioned our conversation with him a couple of weeks ago. 